A group of unlikely advocates is making sure that kids who are victims of abuse feel safe and empowered. Back in 2019, we introduced you to BACA, or Bikers Against Child Abuse. And they were trying to form a chapter in the Hampton Roads area. Then your side, Marlene Ballaris explains how this international nonprofit is now fulfilling that mission locally. Lena? Yeah, Tom Anita, the last time we spoke with members of BACA, they were affiliated with the Tri Cities chapter. It's based out of Richmond. Their goal was to recruit enough members in the Hampton Roads area to form their own chapter here. That was back in November of 2019, and now they've accomplished that goal. You see them coming, and their presence isn't exactly subtle. It's strong, confident, which is just how they want the kids they help to feel. Empower these kids. That's all this is about, is just empowering these kids. These men and women are members of BACA, or Bikers Against Child Abuse. It's an international nonprofit created by a licensed clinical therapist back in 1995. His goal was to just close a gap in the therapy process. What he was seeing was the children he was helping, they would go home. Um, their perpetrator would drive by their house or somehow intimidate them. So what he wanted to do was just get a group of his friends together, visit this child, and it had such an impact that Baca was born from that one single ride. Back in 2019, when we first met some Virginia-based Baca members, they were looking for members to start a Hampton Roads chapter of the organization. Well, it's formed and now called the Seven Cities Chapter. We are opening our meetings to the public now. The group has a series of programs to help kids who have been victims of abuse, and it starts with a phone call. The case needs to be reported to some official or some agency that we can verify. Once that's done, we go and do an intake. Uh, we meet with the child, meet with the family, make sure that the case meets our mission. The child is then brought into the group, given a back patch and a name like Jim Dog or Hawkeye. They're also given things like a baka bear. We fill these bears with love. Um, hug them between us, give them to the child, say, hey, if this bear needs to be refilled, we we'll come back. And that just gives the child a reason to reach out to us. BACA members will accompany kids to court cases, school, home, wherever they are needed. We stay there as long as we need to. If we need to surround their house for a week until they feel safe, get them on the school bus in the morning or get them to school or whatever we need to do to, to make that child feel safe. With COVID, there have been some changes. They believe cases are on the rise, but fewer cases are being reported. Without the schools and the teachers and the other organizations that tend to report these things, they're usually the first ones to notice that there's a lot of cases that are slipping through. The members say if the cases do go up, they'll be ready to help at a moment's notice. It's all the difference in the world to see that the kids come out of their shells. I mean, they've been through so much and to be able to enjoy the world again makes all the difference. April is Child Abuse Awareness Month, so the group is planning a series of events every weekend this month to let people know about their services. We'll share some links to find more information on those on wavy.com. I'm Maria Elena Baloris, 10 on your side.